Hey everybody, so I have another word from the Lord, and um, he gave this one to me Tuesday, January 16th, 2024 at 4.04 a.m. and it's called God Will Deal With the Wicked. Um, and we're going to be reading from Job 21, uh, starting at verse 2, and then he's just take me around, so here it goes. Listen carefully to my speech, the wicked. They spend their days in prosperity. And he says, they look like they're winning. Satan blinds them from sin. It says, and suddenly they go down to Shiloh. And he was letting me know that, you know, the wicked is like, when they're prospering, like they're stuck in that cycle. Satan has blinded their eyes and they can't even see where they're headed because they're just chasing their desires. They're just chasing their wants. They're just chasing this life that they've made for themselves or think they made for themselves because what God made known to me is there are none of like your own, own thoughts. It's influences either from God or from Satan. And so, you know, Satan influences your life. So when you pick the flesh, you're picking Satan's desires. When you pick the Spirit of God and the Holy Spirit's leader, you are picking the things of God. You are following the plans God has for you. And so he says that they get caught up in this winning that they they don't even know that they're so far gone and before you know it they're in hell and so then it says they say to god depart from us we do not even desire the knowledge of your ways who is the almighty that he, that we should serve him and what would we gain if we entreat him and then he had me look up and treat. It says, ask someone earnestly or anxiously to do something. And so then he said, depend on him or uh, come to him even in times of need. So that's the way he's using it is that they don't even come to him or depend on him for times or need. It goes to that like self-made mindset, right? That, that pride, I gotta do it, I gotta do it, right? No humility, right? It goes into the thing that got Satan kicked out, which was pride. And so you'd rather work in that than submit to God and even bow down to God and to serve God. And then it says, um, Behold, their prosperity is not in their hand, he said, but Satan whom you serve. For the wicked is reserved for the day of calamity. They will be led forth at the day of furry. Who will comfort him with his actions? Who will, oh my bad, it says, who will confront him with his actions? Who will confront him with his actions? And then God said to me, they have no friends because friends would steer you in the right direction. Friends sharpens friends, right? So he says, they have no friends because they're not even honest with you. They don't even care about your life nor your soul. They're just there for the game. They don't care where you end up as long as they can get what you have. Okay? And then it says, And who will repay him for what he has done? While he is carried to the grave, men will keep watch over his tomb. The cods of the valley will gently cover him, more so all men will follow after him while countless ones go before him mm, that's that's, oof, that's 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 deep that's deep that's deep that's deep that's so deep help me wrap this up lord and so what god is saying is that you follow satan and these are the wicked ones okay you follow Satan, you don't even care about the desires of God, you don't even want what God has, you get so caught up in what he's, Satan has promised you, so caught up in what it looks like, that before you know it, you go to hell. 
living this life because life is going, time is ticking. You get so caught up in the glitz and the glamours and the things that you think you want that are really detrimental to your soul. And then you lead people who lust after what you want and also what they want. So now they're just willing to follow and end up going to hell with you. They'll watch over your tomb, right? It says, moreover, all men will follow after him. Mm. Meaning there's people watching you who are gonna follow in your footsteps serving satan unknowingly and before they know it they'll end up in the pit of hell with you while countless ones go before you mm. and that that's deep and it's scary and it's scary you know children of god if you're watching this make sure you 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 have a pure heart Make sure your desires are not of your desires. Make sure that you want what God wants because what God wants for you, it's safety. God gives gifts, right? And it says that he adds no, no sorrows. He gives riches and adds no sorrow. If there's sorrows attached to what you have, then it's not from God. It's not from God. It's from the enemy. And in this season, we have to be so keen in discernment. We have to be so clinged to God that we know not to turn left and not to turn right. And we know to keep our eyes fixated on him because there's so many voices, so many opinions, so many people trying to say who God is, but them themselves are working in carnality. Make sure you know God for yourself. Make sure you read the word for yourself. Make sure you have a relationship with God for yourself. Because guess what? Everybody is in charge of their own salvation. Everybody is in charge of where they go at the end of the day. Not the person who, you know, like on judgment day, you, you know, God's not going to be like, oh, okay, like, um that man that person told you that was okay all right i understand i have mercy and i'm gracious today on judgment day and even though you followed after satan and served him i'm just gonna let you into heaven because you didn't know that's not how it works it's not how it works there's witnesses whoever he done sent to you to try to lead you back to god guess what they're gonna be witnessing against you guess what Every time God is sending somebody and you decline and you decline, that's also going to be there on judgment day. Like, they, they like, <laughs> Jesus sees all. God sees all. These things are written down. We will be responsible for every idle word that we have spoken. We. That's why you can't worry about if this person's serving God and this isn't. Because guess what? Everybody's in charge of their own salvation. So make sure yours is intact. If so-and-so isn't listening and you're trying to tell them about God, it's okay. It's okay if they don't listen. Your hands are clean. They will be in charge of their own iniquity. But at least you obeyed God. Because God comes for everybody. But there's just some that are wicked and don't want him because they're too caught up in their own glitz and glamour, right? Everything that glitters ain't gold. And we see as everything is coming to the light and people are telling you the truth of what's really behind these closed doors. It's not all what it seems. Get to know God so God can tell you don't go there. So God could say, go there, I'm with you. You know, know your assignment in this season. Know what you're called to in this season. Know God. Know God. Because the enemy will take a whole lot of Bible and split just a, mm, split it with just a little bit of poison. Just a little. Just a little. God was talking to me the other day saying how his children are dying. Innocent blood is being shed by the wicked, by the hands of evil. And some are physical doings, plotting for the death of his children. 
Well, all of them are plotting, but some of them are physical. And others of them, he said, through false doctrine. Through false doctrine. That's another way the evil are killing his children through false doctrine. Know the Bible. Know your God if you say you serve Jehovah, Yahweh, Yeshua, El Roy, Jehovah Nisi, God of gods, Lord of lords, King of all kings. Jesus, Holy Spirit, not these other spirits, because every other spirit, man, unless it's biblical, like God says, right? Spirit of peace, gentleness, kindness, love, right? And I could go on, those are spirits that are of God. All those other ones are Satan. God is love, God is light, but God is also righteous judgment people think judgment's not real righteous he's a righteous judgment that's why he doesn't just kill us at the sign of a first mistakes he gives us time he pulls us he tries to bring us back but pride makes us say no i did no wrong god just didn't see nothing even though he showed himself to you over and over again he's trying to call you back judgment is what we need right when something goes wrong you take somebody to court right because of something bad that happened you need justice god is a justice god god is a judgment god that's why he's telling us now repent telling us now we've been blowing the trumpet for a long time this ain't the first that's mercy that's loving kindness him warning us, saying, come on back, my children. Come on back. It's dangerous out there. Because he's been talking to me about war, calamity. He said in my other video, which one, the foretold distress, he was talking about, I think it's that video. No, I think it's my other video where I'm wearing black. And maybe it's called their fall or something. And he's talking about a massacre gonna be a massacre he said it's gonna be critical time destruction i'm telling you what i know i'm telling you what he told me get your house in order people because you don't know when you're gonna die if jesus comes tomorrow or if he doesn't come for 20 years it doesn't matter because your race is their time how long you have to live so get it together you guys get it together because if you don't don't say god is evil who is this god who is this god because he's warned you through many prophets through many voices repent repent turn from your wicked ways second chronicles 7 and 14 those who are called by my name Humble yourself, seek my face, pray, turn from your wicked ways. Then I will hear from my father and heal your land. He's been calling. So again, today I'll say it. Choose this day whom you will serve. Because whether you go to heaven or hell isn't off of anybody. It's solely off of your choices. In your decisions. Okay, you guys. I'm out. Bye.